Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I haven't seen you guys in a couple of weeks and um, I'm not sure if you remember but I did tell you guys that I was going to do a new style of vlogging kind of um, for my podcast and as you can see that did not happen this week but um, that's mostly because it's been super busy here um, if you're new here uh, I am currently me and my husband are currently in the process of moving out of LA so we've been packing we've been trying to get rid of stuff I've been trying to finish up a bunch of, well not a bunch of projects, but a lot of long-term projects that I've had um, for a while that I need to finish before I move out. So it's been really busy and um, so, so yeah, since it's been crazy, I haven't been able to take you guys along with me for anything really because, I don't know, when I go out nowadays, I don't, not that I don't take knitting with me, but um, as I'll show you guys later, um, I do have some finished objects, but um, they're kind of bulky, to too bulky to take along with me, so... Um, there wasn't really anything much to show and also I have been still washing a lot of fleece I don't know if you guys haven't seen but in the last episode I kind of show like a little bit of that where I wash um, a bunch of the fleece that I currently have because we are moving to Vegas and they do have water restrictions so um, I kind of want to get as much washed as possible here before um, I'm restricted in my water intake, I guess. It does take quite a bit of water, unfortunately, to wash fleece. So, yeah, so that's been happening. Um, so let me just get right into it. So, um, oh. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Melanie, by the way. Um, also known as Cozy Cardigans on Instagram and on Ravelry. So check me out there if you'd like to connect. And you could always comment down below. I try to reply to everybody. Um, I love talking to you guys. And you guys have been so great and supportive and everything. So yeah. Um, so first things first, I do have a couple finished objects. So one thing is this sweater I'm wearing. This is my own design. Um, that I'm currently finishing up the, uh, first draft, pattern draft for. And then I'm going to actually be, um, sending out a call to test knitters probably next week. I'm guessing I'm posting this on a Saturday. So, uh, you'll probably see the call for test knitters in a couple of weeks if you guys are interested. Um, I mean, if you guys are interested, this is called the Ridgecrest pullover, by the way. Um, just because it's like ridges and crests, this is just a simple, like, let me see if this focuses. It's just a simple knit pearl pattern um, all throughout. Same for the sleeves. And so there's two versions of this um, pullover. Um, so there's two, not two different versions. So there's multiple versions you can make. You can make up to actually eight sweaters out of this pattern that I'm making. I know it's a bit much, but um, just because I like to have um, options, you know, am I out of focus? Sorry. Just keep looking. Anyways, I just like to have a lot of different options for um, when I'm making a sweater, like cropped, uncropped, different kinds of sleeves, different kinds of necklines. Like, I just like 
because I've noticed that a lot of sewing patterns have that type of modifiability like um, like you could make long sleeves, short sleeves, um, you could uh, for sewing like you could make pleats or no pleats or you could make it this star or that star so I've noticed that a lot in sewing patterns but not so much I mean it's there's still a lot of patterns out there where you can modify things and make different versions of things which are really awesome and I love those so I just decided to make one for my own and so yeah so well first oh by the way this yarn is uh, kindly sent to me by the Fiber Co and this is the Cumbria fingering yarn by the way and it's perfect for this uh, let me just show you again it just shows the texture so well yeah, it looks so good so anyways, this is the um, first couple of options. So option one is this like wider crew neck. So not so much a scoop neck. It's still relatively, um, it's not like tight around your neck like a traditional crew neck would be, but it's still a little wider. Um, but yeah, there's some short row shaping in the shoulders as well, just to have that little bit of drape. And then this, particular version. One version for the sleeves is this regular, I just unrolled it, this regular, it's a bit wrinkled because I was just wearing it, just a traditional like, you know, you just go decreasing along the way type of sleeve. So um, the sample is a little long for me because the, the average sample length for sleeves is a little longer than I need, but oh well. But anyway, so yeah, option one for neck, wider crew neck, option one for sleeve, regular sleeve, and then this is the longer, it hits me about hip length here. This is like the regular length um, pullover. So these are all different options you can mix and match. And then the other one, I still have yet to, this is still kind of blocking but this is the other version. So as you can see, this one is more of a, I'd like to say a boat neck. So obviously scoop neck, boat neck, it's a bit wider on the top for the neck. As you can see, this one is also the cropped length. So like it's about like two or three inches. I still have yet to measure it, but about two or three inches, oh, this is, nah, that's not helping, <laughs> but it's a little shorter than the one that I'm wearing right now. Not super short, but you can make it as short as long as you want to. And then also this sleeve here is a little different from mine because um, there is no decreasing. So like a traditional sleeve, like I said, you decrease along the way. This one has no decreasing. So it kind of makes like this bell shape when you wear it. So two options for the neck, two options for the sleeve, and many different options for like the length of the body, I guess. But I do write down instructions for the regular length and the cropped length, just in case. And um, yeah, so all that combined, you can mix and match the neck, this neck with the bell sleeve that I just showed you. You can mix the wider neck with the regular sleeve. You could mix all that stuff up and you can make up to eight different sweaters out of this pattern, which I think is great. And also it kind of helps to, I don't know, it's like a great study in a way of seeing how you can modify different patterns to your own liking. Like if you see, um, if you see another designer's crew neck sweater pattern and you prefer a wider neck, it kind of, it's another way of being able to see like how you exactly you can modify that to fit your own needs. Um, Cause I do that all the time for like sleeves, for example, like sometimes they have these regular decreases and then I really want like a puffy sleeve for example and then that's super easy to modify and make your own so um 
yeah so that is currently being finished or finishing being written up today today is uh thursday by the way i usually film a couple days in advance just because i get busy and um so when you see this on saturday i'll probably be done writing taking pictures and stuff so that you guys are able to uh test knit and um i'll definitely have more info about the test knitting later on um like the sizes that are gonna be needed like the timeline that i'm gonna expect and like things that i need from you guys and what you'll get out of this test knitting experience um so yeah look out for that and so this is my only fo i was i've been working on these two sweaters like crazy for the past um for the past i don't know maybe like month or so so um yeah so that that's this is it this and the purple one so yeah look out for it this one's still a little wet. I wanted to wear this one today, but yeah. So these are the two versions. And um, let me see. So I have been, I have started a new project as well because I finished with these sweaters. Um, it is the Best Beret by uh, James and Watts. And it's this little, it looks nothing like a hat yet but I know it would look great. Um, so this one is made of this yarn brand that I've never heard of before till now called GH. And I think uh, one of the watchers from a previous episode said that it was a German brand. I do have all the information about all my projects in my Ravelry page, by the way. Link is down below, but um, if you're curious about it. I do really like the yarn though. It's this like warm gray like versus this cool gray. I don't know, I'm so neutral. But then this beret is actually for, um, was a, a request from my best friend for her mom, which I was happy to, happy to do. So this is for her mom, but honestly, I feel like it'd be so cute. I kind of want one. So, I mean, I have so much um, sock yarn that aren't really meant for socks. Like, they're a bit more fragile, I want to say, like, um, or like a bit more rustic. So, because I usually do like to have my sock yarns to be like merino nylon or something like a little softer. Um, I'm not sure if that's like more wearing, like if it lasts longer in merino or if it lasts longer in like a more rustic gear wool but anyways i have a lot of that so i'm thinking like a rustic because i have like a mustard um boucher and boucher um lip tea and lambs wool yarn in mustard and i think that would look really good as a beanie yeah that look really cute so I'm gonna try to finish this and then maybe make one for myself because I am also, right after we move, so we're moving end of February and then we're gonna be going to Japan for a month to buy a house. So which is why we're moving out of LA. So we're gonna be going to Japan for a month to purchase the house. And so I'm gonna, it's gonna be a little chilly and I'm not really a beanie person, but I think I could do berets. Not that berets really keep your head warm or anything, but at least there's something on my head. So yeah, that's the only knit thing that I've been working on. And I've been, I don't know if you could see this a little bit, I've been spinning my fractal spin. I still have this whole braid to go, um, but I'm trying to finish that by next Friday, I wanna say. Um, just cause I need to get that 
when you get that video up it's probably like man th that video i have like so many clips for it but it's like so old now i'm, I'm like don't even should i even do it and i have i don't know if you guys could tell but i got a new camera my husband and i so um I kind of want to film on this, but I think it would look really weird with the, uh, because I used my iPhone before, and uh, now I feel like I really want to use this, but then the quality is different. I don't know. So I still have to finish that and film like the finished product kind of thing. Still have to finish a weaving. I have so much to do. I mean not they're all fibery stuff so not complaining and then um my husband and i we had our own um we worked from home on our own business so we're kind of closing not closing it down or anything but like while we're going through the move and going to live in japan we're kind of putting that on hold so i've had a little bit more time to do more fibery stuff so it's all about the time management for me i guess yeah um so yeah guys nothing much just keep a lookout if you are interested in test knitting please uh, i'm gonna put my email address down below or you could dm me on instagram or message me on ravelry um that you're interested i'm going to have nine sizes for this sweater so more than likely if you are interested and you have like an instagram or if you're um willing to take pictures of yourself in the finished products to put up on ravelry then um i'll be more than happy to have you as my test knitter i'd be so honored actually so um yeah super short episode today kind of bummed that i couldn't do the vlogging thing i was pretty excited for that but yeah as i said it's been pretty crazy so um yeah that's about it um so yeah thank you guys for watching um as i said you can find me on instagram and on ravelry as cozy cardigans and um if you like this video please like down below and also subscribe if you haven't already and um Leave a comment. Tell me what you've been working on because like I've just been working on this. I need some inspiration. I do have other whips that I need to work on like my um, I still need to work on my twigs sweater. I have not touched that at all this past month which makes me very sad because I was on a roll when I started that in December and now it's February and I've literally just split for this. It's top down. I just split for the sleeves. I'm nowhere near finishing. So um, I think like after this one, I, maybe that could be like my at home bulky project, but um, I'm just busy at home at the moment. So I never really have time to just sit down and work on a project that I don't really need to finish at a certain time. So yeah, um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out with me again this week. Sorry, I couldn't hang out with you last week. But um, I'll see you again next week. Hopefully, I'm filming a vlog. If not, I apologize. But it's been really busy, so no promises. Yeah. But for sure, I'll definitely catch up with you guys. Do a sit down regular thing. But I do really like doing vlogs. Anyways, have a great weekend. If I am posting this on Saturday, have a great rest of your weekend. Have a great week. And um, let me know. Let me know what you've been working on. Let me know what's been inspiring you. Because all these deadlines are kind of making me crazy. And I need, I need to be reminded why I love this. Not that I always need the reminder but it's just nice to know why other people love it too you know it's like it's good to know well anyways again have a good day um and yeah thank you guys for watching and uh
See you next week. Bye. Thank you.